testing the audio now. <coughs> oh yes, because he um yeah he uh, given you this because he uh, complained about it. He couldn't break it off into small bites because they did it all fancy like this. He tried. He was trying to break it in the packet, and then he just got annoyed because it's done. You know, not in squares. This is a small bite. No, it's not done in squares. Like he, you know, when you break off mm. into the individual yeah. squares, he couldn't stand breaking off like this. They had to be squares, so he just gave up. It's chocolate. Who cares? If I really wanted, if I know I didn't, wasn't going to try and share it with people, I'd just pick the bar up and bite into it. And I think it's how he, you know, I think it may be his darking method. In, you know, if he eats it slowly, bit by bit, then the five bars don't matter. They don't weigh as much. Really. When you crack off the little squares, there's a little bit of chocolate that goes missing. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Yeah. It's like, what's the point in a Bethesda game if someone can't make a porn mod of it? Really? Let's be honest. I was going to say that you watched the point of a Bethesda game when you can't fix it, but... There is that as well, but I'm pretty sure every Bethesda game in existence has a porn mod of it. Why? I don't know. Like, who in the... Uh, like, who in the Fallout universe do you want to have pornography of? Is Super Mutants and Ghouls that attractive? Mate, I mean... Fallout 4... Can you even stop to think of how much porn there probably is of Kiri? And I was about to say Tracer? <laughs> Tracer is not Bethesda. I, I thought it was just going to be entirely of Nick. But... Uh, I mean, Nick, I can guarantee does Hancock as well. Oh yeah, Hancock, there is a ton of porn. Hancock, there. definitely. To be fair, his character fits it, at least. It does. Like, he... it doesn't feel out of place, unlike some of the other characters you could put in such a <laughs> Hancock just would be willing to yeah, do that. People are very into Hancock, which I don't quite get. He's a cool dude. Not my type. Probably because he's rotting. Uh, I'll take Nick though. I mean, you'd be insane not to. Cause it's nice Nick. characters, but most of our viewpoints uh, don't exactly align with me and. Um... Wow, I forgot his name, Redding. We're just talking about him. Hancock. Hancock, yes. Yeah. Yeah, I was so. just feeling Haddock. I forgot McCready's an ally in this game. Yeah, we don't have him either. Jerry and McCree. So, testing, testing. One, two, three. Just making sure, first off, that the audio is all right. Snowball is plugged in, making sure I can be heard. And I'm going to test the volume of the TV right now. Using, of course, a Grin Brothers video, because why not? Everyone, okay. the Grin Brothers and what are we? I, do you not remember me creating this? I remember at the same time I... Let's see if I can alter the volume. Yellow jumpsuit. Just manages to make it look ever more horrifying. No, I can't seem to alter the volume. And we need the TV. Hopefully, uh, this will still record all the sound as per usual. So you should be hearing the Grin Brothers video playing. Let's see if this has all worked. Okie dokie, I'm just going to play some Giga Wrecker trailer. I want this game. I still... Game Freak are such an oddity. The fact that this not actually Nintendo owned. Wait, which, what? Well... No. This game released on PC, so... Yeah, no, I know that. I meant... Apparently this song is from Dragon's Dogma? Oh, that's convenient. I'm getting that I'm getting that for um, Kyrus for his birthday. It doesn't sound like a song I'd expect from Dragon's Dogma. I finally got it for his birthday. Yeah. Um, took ages to do, and it's still not the Switch version. I think that might be digital in power regions. Probably. This game looks like a lot of fun. Um, and it's cute. Anime girls, so yeah, it, was... it, it does really come across like Game Freak. If they weren't, if their Pokemon game the series wasn't a part owned by Nintendo, that they would have gone mobile. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. They like there's a lot of companies which have loyalty to Nintendo. Like HAL has admittedly released a mobile game or two, but they didn't release any mobile games until Nintendo started. So, yeah, a lot of the Nintendo sort of second parties and such have a loyalty to Nintendo, as it were. But Game Freak, weirdly enough, don't. Aside from the fact that. Basically, Nintendo have Pokemon for ransom, as it were. Yeah, because it's uh, part owned by Game Freak, Pokemon Company, and Nintendo. Yeah. If well, I remember correctly, Pokemon Company holds the biggest share. Yeah, well, Pokemon Company is a joint company made by the two of them as basically the merchandising arm. Yeah. It's why there are terrible decisions repeatedly, such as let's make this event based, because it's, you know, made by the Pokemon Company's decision making. Yeah. They just, it just has to be a Nintendo system. It, it is from Dragon's Dogma. Huh. I... Hey. 
I. What? Oh, anyway, that's a subject we can bring up in the <laughs> morning, so. Uh, so, this is a audio test. Um. That's. That's. That's what I did. I clicked on me. Oh, it's. Christ, that hurt. I uh, guess I'll get the start screen up to see how it sounds. Ooh, Atlas. Ooh, fairy. Ooh. Cry were. Okay, was it just that random beat that was loud? I'm missing some of the artwork. But I have most of it. Options. Oh, cool. Blowing it's not going to do much. Um, Give it a lick to clean it and then let it... Oh no. <laughs> I have fallen <laughs> and I cannot get back up. <laughs> I thought it was, I have fallen and I choose not to get up. That's the John Tron one. <coughs> oh, okay. I forgot these were a thing. I kind of forgot a lot about this game. So I noticed in that first episode you did of this DLC playthrough. <coughs> I've got a bit of a cold. It's a light one, but so it shouldn't interfere too much. Yeah, Quindini suggested uh, Stardew Valley, which we'd probably only play for like um, 30 parts or thing, you know. Because I don't think there's any ending. Yeah, I mean, there's an ending to Rune Factory, but I don't think Stardew ends. But yeah, it all depends on what games we get. I'd like two to three. If we can't find a third game, uh, two to three because one we've already got straight away, the Sky Five, mm. as a backup choice. Um, but we Hand can't get time the other. Is a download. If we can't get two more of the others sort of listed, which is Locker Rocco, Alice Madness Returns, Subnautica, A Hat in Time, Scribble or. Um, Stardew Valley. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, then for the third option of the user of the raffle participant opinion, I'm going to put Cooking Mama again because it was so popular. Mm. Um, and then choice four and five are your choice and mm. my choice because that way we can mention games which were more recent or games which weren't nearly recent because a lot of the games are... <coughs> And of course, ones we actually own. Yeah. Um, like you know, of course, there are games that they couldn't have suggested because they wouldn't have been even been out at the time. So, and the sixth choice, uh, I was considering because no one suggested anything like get off the SNES Mini or Virtual Console or anything like that. You know, just have a retro oldest game choice. I don't know if we're legally allowed to play Shaq Fu. <coughs> that would be a good choice of game to play. Even how racist that is. <coughs> Raph, I'm recording with you. I know. So I think it's perfectly okay. I thought you meant there was legal rights to it. I don't know if anyone wants to claim that as their work. <laughs> Raph, it's got Shaquille's name on the top.